Alright guys, we got a, uh, what? This is my son's truck. What is it? A uh, 2010 Dodge Ram. Uh, 2000 what? 2010 Dodge Ram. 2010 Dodge Ram. The heater is not blowing air like it's supposed to. And they we told actually, us. We actually thought it was the actuators. So we actually took apart the whole dash and replaced both actuators. We need, we need light. Issue. We need more light here. Let me see. To show you these parts right here. So he changed both of them. And which we got the old one right here. See, and we still put those on and it still not works. Just blowing a little bit of air towards the windshield and that's about it. We switch it to the front here. We don't get much, so. The only thing that really works is the actual defrost. But we but got. There isn't much airflow. All right, but we're gonna show you guys what happened and what not to do in the future. Okay? So watch this. So this is the area where, you know, glove compartment where you could do whatever you want, really, where you can store anything. You can put any essential stuff you may need, whether it's your wife or your mom or something, or you just you. Anyways, we took it apart. And what we found out is that if anything that's inside the glove compartment, you want to show, get you want to show them, can get shoved back here Towards. into where the actual vent of the heater opens. Sucking air. That's what the part that sucks the air. You which, see that back there? Where you got the filter? You see that bag? That's what is causing now, the problem. Now I'm gonna leave the bag there so I can show you. Closes on it. As you can hear, there all the airflow is getting trapped right there, so it's not going to the vent it's into the rest of the truck. It took us a minute to figure it out, but all you gotta do is turn off your heater, opens the vent, remove whatever's blocking the airflow. Turn the heater. Voila! And perfect. We got a lot of air coming out, airflow. So exactly yes, right after all this, you know, but we did find a problem. If you guys find a problem like this before, you're not getting any airflow. Please check the filter back there. Sucks paper, sucks whatever. It's really close to there on the glove compartment. So, so. just don't put any bags in your glove compartment or it'll still get sucked into the bag. Not this. <laughs> and if you're wondering on how to remove your glove compartment, all it is just on two hooks. Er, well, ours has four. Anyways, it's got four hooks that sits on right here. And then all you gotta do is squeeze in each corner. Each corner right here. Squeeze in this. Inside like this. And then it just pops out. It's It's got a flexible material so you won't break it. And it just sits in there like that. All right. Hope this helps a lot of people out there. You know, they don't go a lot of trouble and go to a mechanic and then they charge them a lot of money for something that is not. Just always look those simple parts like or go to YouTube and look on videos, which that will help too. Cause there's always somebody going through situations like this, like us. So thank you, subscribe and like.